and welcome to the Spotlight Stage. Intel continues to tackle some of the world's toughest challenges, engineering a way to solve them in order to transform the human experience, including a diverse and inclusive workforce. Ali Derekles and Melissa Halfen understand this challenge and share a passion to solve it. And so, in an effort to get more girls and young women interested in computer science, they created VidCode, an online software program aimed at creating and empowering a new generation of coders. And now, to present the full VidCode vision, please welcome founder Ali Derekles. Thank you so much, Ali, for joining us here today. Now, can you just tell me a little bit about your background and how you got so involved in coding? Sure, so I actually started my career out in film and photography, and I studied computer programming in graduate school. And it wasn't until I started to study code that I realized how creative it actually is to build a program from the ground up. And I fell in love with the creative potential of code. And soon after, I made it my mission that, especially young women, but really all teenagers, that no one misses out on really creating with computer science the way they want to. How did this lead to you meeting and interacting with your current team? Sure, so I met my co-founder at a hackathon. Um, it was very serendipitous. We were both pitching ideas to get girls involved with STEM. Um, and we ended up merging our teams and building the prototype for VidCode that weekend. Um, and what's really important to us about this is one part of our product story. Um, it's more like that, that girls see cool. us as founders, two women not only building the software, but building the business as well. And that inspires a lot of our users. What would you say was the main driving force behind the origin of BitCode? Yeah, we really saw a need for a scalable software tool that taught computer science that was built with girls in mind. And it's, again, used by all, but there was a need to kind of work with girls on the ground and see what was really missing for them. So that's exactly what we did. We asked girls, what's missing for you guys in online coding environments? And they told us they want to be creative, they want to pursue it with friends, that was mandatory, and they wanted to connect it to an existing hobby. And that's really where photos and videos came in. Um, it's something that not only teenage girls love, but all teenagers do on a daily basis. So they already have a social life built around this practice. So it makes it very easy for us to input computer science and really encourage them to practice code in their free time as a hobby, which is critical to their future success. Well, I heard we get to witness a special treat today and we get to meet one of your young vid coders, is that right? That's true. Today we have Lena, who's an eighth grader, a local here from Las Vegas, and she uses VidCode. And today she's been kind enough to show all of us her computer vision project. Hi. Hi, Lena. Woo! Thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. So before we begin, I just want to ask you two questions. What are your favorite hobbies right now? My hobbies mostly include the arts, which are mainly like drawing, painting, or playing my cello. Awesome. So the arts, drawing, painting, and cello. And what are your favorite subjects in school? Math and science. Math and science. So you love STEM during the day and art at night. That's a great combination. So let's go ahead and check out your project. So Lena's going to take us through a series of steps. And this is going to build up to a complex computer vision project. So that means she's actually going to be analyzing the data in her videos. Um, and we're going to start with a couple of simple steps. So let's go ahead and drag in the filter. So as you guys can see on the screen, that just populated, populated Lena's code editor with JavaScript. That's what she's working with to build this program. Let's take a look. Let's um, yeah, go ahead and adjust the values. So now she's changing the values of that filter so it really fits her aesthetic desires and also her technical choices. So let's go ahead and drag one more filter. So as you guys can see, she's really starting to see the code behind not only the buttons, but some of her favorite apps. This is a practice that's familiar to her with Instagram and Snapchat, and she gets the opportunity to reverse engineer it on VidCode. So let's go, we're gonna take it one step further and do something that you can't do on your everyday video editing app. Let's go ahead and put motion blur. Awesome, so motion blur is a complex algorithm that's actually taking every pixel of her video and adding them together to 
create this multiple exposure look. And this is something Lana can only create with code. So now we're going to take it one level farther or further into the data manipulation. And Lana's going to start accessing each pixel in her video and change its shape. So let's pixelate it. Awesome. So now she has a little bit more control over the entire video and she's going to start to get a little crazy with it. Um, but again, this is something that she can only do with code and it's a very powerful data set within this video that she's using. So the final step that we're going to take is Lana's going to actually give each pixel a life of its own. And she's going to break the pixels out of the actual video player itself. So go ahead and write your own final line of code, Lena. <laughs> awesome! That's amazing! So with her own custom line of code, Lena can really create this magnificent swarm effect that's giving each pixel a life of its own and really taking to, to her to that complex computer vision level. Lena, thank you so much. That was incredible. And so before we close, I just want to ask you two questions. How did you feel the first time you coded your video? I was shocked that I learned a new skill through something I love. And it was exciting to see what goes on behind my favorite apps. Awesome. That's amazing. And finally, like, how can you share something like this with your friends? The videos I edit using the vid code can be shared online. And when my friends ask me how I how I did it, I can always just tell them that I use this tool to build it. Cool, so you can share the tool and also kind of show off what you've made. That's incredible. Lena, thank you so much for being with us today. I'm so proud of what you've accomplished. We're very lucky to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Lena, that was so cool. Congratulations. Ali, that was really amazing for us to watch. Now tell me, how does VidCode reach all of these young ladies? Yeah, so VidCode is an online tool. It's accessible from anywhere, so we have girls 125 countries using it right now. And what's really important is that it's this remote tool so that, you know, especially teenagers who don't have a computer science class or a local program, that they can really explore their own passions with code. Now, where do you hope the future with VidCode heads? So our goal with VidCode is to teach 10 million girls to code by 2018, and we think that's a feasible goal. And VidCode is really a long-term learning tool. So girls can learn how to build these programs from the ground up and additionally really create their own communities around the code. So right now we have teachers using big code in the classroom. We also have girls using their free time and organizing their own events around it. But what's really important is that they have the opportunity to explore this field through their own hobbies so that by the time they're choosing a career or choosing a major in college, they've already had this experience and this background. And what's more, it's very important that they have the opportunity to be exposed to the type of amazing technology that we see here at CES. And we really believe, along with Intel, that it's absolutely necessary that we have a workforce creating technology that represents the people who are using it. And we're really excited to be a part of that. Well, congratulations to you and your entire team, and we wish you the best of luck in all the future. Thank, thank, thank you so much. so much to you and your team. Thank you. Let's hear it for them. I, I just thought someone gave me this. Really? Yes. Someone gave me a basis peak titanium.